All right, welcome everybody. This is uh, the first in a series of videos that we'll be discussing the X-Ray T4 2019 car. And in this first video, we're going to talk about the differences between the 2018 car and the 2019 car. The parts that you can use to upgrade a 2018 car to a 2019 car. And then later on, couple episodes we'll get into building the car um, show you little tips and tricks that can help you along so let's get started okay guys first up we're going to talk about the chassis uh, the chassis is essentially unchanged except for these two holes right here. These two holes are meant to accommodate this stiffening brace right here. And this little guy will get screwed to the chassis and that will improve the corner steering in the car, make the car uh, more aggressive. And even though X-Ray doesn't recommend in the manual at least, doesn't recommend that you uh, run this on a high grip carpet. We know that Alexander Hagberg ran this, uh, this stiffener at the Montec New York GP uh, a couple weeks ago. And if you guys were following that, you know that uh, he did very well there. TQ'd uh, one in both uh, TC and 12 scale. All right, guys, next up we have the new body position adjustment setup, and this allows the moving of the body posts um, forward and back so that you can adjust the, the body the way you want with either, you know, more front down force or more on the rear or even a, new, you know, neutral position. So the system is made up of these, these components here. You have four of these little guys right here in the kit, and they are used with the rear body post to space space them out, um, either one or two, depending on where you want that body positioned. And we'll get into that more when we start the build. The front consists of the lower bumper plate, and it is it's changed. It's got a nice chamfered edge here that allows uh, a much smoother transition and we don't won't get that card on, caught on the carpet anymore. And that in conjunction with the upper bumper plate, which has the three holes for positioning again, uh, those body posts either forward, neutral, or back. And this is one of the uh, eccentric front body posts that go in the same position here with this and it's either mounted you know back or forward and in the kit there's also a set of standard body posts for the neutral position all right up third we have the new upper bulkhead clamps and we also have new shock towers front and rear so these are meant to work together and this shock tower this is the rear shock tower it has holes right here between the mounting points and that slides into the upper clamp has a pin so this slides in here and this holds the the uh, shock tower in place uh, if there are any, if you have an accident or hit something really hard, the new pin system, if you get in an accident, there's no chance of this shock tower being tweaked slightly, either one way or the other, allowing your shocks to change position. So these are the new clamps. They also are changed a little bit. They have the pin. They're also hollowed out. A little bit right here so they're a little lighter 
and they've taken away some of the mounting positions here. We only have two now. That's to simplify the setups. Yeah. All right, up next we have the lay shaft bulkheads. We have both the motor mount side and the other side. And they are just, they're a little bit shorter so that the top plate doesn't hit the bearing anymore. And you can even run some shims here and here uh, with some screws to help tighten up the rear of the car. All right, guys, up next we have this, this small graphite uh, battery stop here that mounts on this lathe shaft bulkhead. It screws right to the back of it and it will keep the battery from moving in on the pinion. Uh, X-Ray also makes a brass one of these as an optional part if uh, you need a little bit of weight. Back to the front of the car, X-Ray now presses these bearings into the steering plate. And that should eliminate some of the slop uh, in the front of the car that some racers are most concerned about. This in conjunction with a couple other improvements will tighten up the front of the car dramatically. Next up, we have the final component that will tighten up the steering on this car, and that is this little bushing right here, and it sandwiches between these two bearings in the servo saver arm. So one of the bearing goes on the top, the bushing goes in the middle, and the bearing on the bottom. And that will help tighten it up, and we'll, we'll see that more as we get to the build. Okay, guys, these are the parts that have changed for the 2019 car. I'm going to list the parts below with their part numbers. And uh, hopefully you found this particular video of help. And next up, we'll start on the build of the car. We'll start with the diffs, the lay shafts, and uh, try to get maybe the uh, belts and everything in place. All right, thanks for now.